Good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. It's 7.49 now on this Wednesday, and it's time to focus on business. And for that, we turn to our business editor, Mike Eppel. Mike, more negative news today. Well, um, that remains to be seen, actually, Sarah. Really? I thought off. the Dow, well, Dow Jones is seeing its worst ever two-day slide. That was Monday and Tuesday, correct. Oh. Today is a new day. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and the Dow's up 300. Oh, perfect. Will it hold? Okay. Yeah, well, and again, it's early. Um, typically what you see here, when you see a, a drop or a swing in one direction, the next day the opposite occurs. Case in point, uh, Tuesday's trade opened with a fairly good gain for the Dow, and by the end of the session it was down 879 points. Uh, some people look for bargains. Others who want to sell, sell into the market strength, and then it sort of uh, reverses and perpetuates in uh, a, a negative trend. You have to keep in mind here, Sarah, as well, that what we have seen over the past six out of seven days for the Dow, and the markets on Wall Street have been down four days in a row. The TSX really caught uh, the uh, coronavirus fever yesterday right. and dropped 300 points. These markets had been hitting records uh, on numerous occasions at the start of this year. Uh, you know, even with even with a nine percent drop for Apple over a five-day time frame, mm -hmm. the company is still worth one and a quarter trillion dollars. Microsoft, 1.28 trillion. So, yes, they're down. What? But it wasn't that long ago. We were marveling at the fact that we had a trillion dollar company when Apple hit that milestone. And now we've got four of them. What? Apple, Microsoft, Google, and uh, 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 Microsoft, Apple, Google, and who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting somebody else. Anyway, the big Amazon. Four. Amazon. Amazon, yes, yeah. yes. What does a trillion dollars even look like? A lot of zeros. Feel like. Uh, let's talk oil. A one-year yes. low. Any yeah. uh, recovery from that? Uh, no. Uh, that is the true barometer, I think, of what we're seeing right now related to everybody reassessing the global economy yeah. with the coronavirus. You know, when companies aren't doing business as they haven't been in China, when airlines aren't flying, when people aren't driving or going on vacation to points abroad and what have you, the demand for oil falls, and that's uh, why we've got oil below $50 a barrel uh, on the U.S. benchmark. The Canadian crude index is down this morning. The uh, Canadian Western Canadian select around 34. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, until we start to see uh, demand side flip back to the positive, oil's going to struggle here, and that is not good for the energy complex and specifically the heavyweights here in Canada. Before I let you go, Mike, let's talk yep. about uh, CEO, the former CEO rather, of Disney, Bob mm -hmm. Iger. Why would someone yeah. step down from that role? Well, let's see his accomplishments over 15 years, shall we, at Disney, after Bob Iger took over from Michael Eisner back in 2005. He bought Pixar, he bought Lucasfilm, Marvel launched Disney+, Plus, bought 21st Century Fox, uh, okay. grew the theme park <laughs> business, and added 400% to Disney's stock price and made himself a very wealthy man in the, in the process. He is 70 years old right. and, and he's not leaving. He's going to basically be chairman emeritus. He wants to focus on content, not the day-to-day -day operations, which are more, more mundane, shall we say. Mm -hmm. So another Bob, Bob Chavis, is taking over and he's the guy who's been the head of the theme parks. From Bob to Bob, they're making it easy. Bob and Bob's excellent adventure. Listen, I've got a bone to pick with you. Today is Pink Shirt Day to support anti-bullying. And I didn't get the memo. Have you got a pink hat or something around you can throw I don't on? Have a, I, got, I got pink neckties by the bushel full at home and nobody told me again. Well, tomorrow cause. is Pink Too Shirt Day days. in Vancouver, so you can make up in some ways. I'll see you then, okay? Very frustrating. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mike. You can continue here to hear Mike on 660 News. Let's go ahead and take a look at the markets. This portion of BT is brought to you by 660 News, Calgary's breaking news, weather, and traffic station.